now you know about state machine layers, I can now point out to you that in my example, both timelines are animating different properties. This one I'm animating the X position of the red square, and in this one I'm animating the X position of the blue square. And as you know, state machine layers allow us to play these two animations at the same time. And now we wonder, what happens if you were to animate the same property of the same layer in two different timelines and then play them at the same time? Here I have two timelines. One where I have set the Y position of the white square to be up here, and one where I have the Y position of the white square down here. I'm animating the same property, and then I've put the two timelines in their own state machine layers. So what happens when I press play? As you can see, the animation that plays is the timeline where it's at the bottom. Why is this? Well, Rive has a rule. The state machine layer on the right takes precedence. So if I was to switch the order of these state machine layers around and press play, now it's the timeline where the square is at the top that is playing. As a rule of thumb, it's best not to animate the same property in timelines that will be playing at the same time. But if you do, try to remember the rule. The state machine layer on the right takes precedence.